Hello and welcome to our lesson for chapter 4. Lesson 4 deals a lot with triangles and so we're going to start by classifying them. We're going to be able to classify triangles by their angle measures and side lengths. Those are the two main ways to classify triangles. Well, as soon as you get those back anyway and then you also need to make sure you have definitions for these written in your note packet. Polygon with three sides. Triangles can be classified in two ways by their angle measures or by their side lengths. So let's take a look at triangle ABC here. Segments AB, BC, and AC, and those are the We could have an acute triangle where we have three acute angles. We could have an equiangular triangle where we have three congruent acute angles. And those would all be 60 degree angles. Or we could have a right triangle where we have one and only one right angle, the other two angles would be acute. Or we could have an obtuse triangle, where we have one obtuse angle, and the other two are acute. BDC, or classify BDC, by its angle measures. BDC is the bigger of the two inner triangles. Okay, so let's take a look at how we would do that. We know that angle B is obtuse. And here's how we could find that. That makes this a 100 degree angle, which is why it's labeled as a 100 degree angle. B is obtuse. So we can say that angle BDC is an obtuse triangle. Let's take a look at triangle ABD. ABD measures add up to 180 degrees. By substitution, we get this equation, ABD plus 100 equals 180. So we know that ABD also has to be 80 degrees. So we have an 80 degree angle at A, an 80 degree angle at ABD, and an 80 degree angle at ADB. I'm sorry, a 20 degree angle at ADB. So these are all acute angles. This is an acute triangle. 